Hey guys, Dan Heilman here, back with another Awakened Chaos Era video. I recorded this video a while ago, but I just wanted to um, set this to go out while I'm in Mexico. I'm in Mexico right now, probably on the beach, enjoying the weather. But uh, I just wanted to show you basically my push to my push to legend, um, what I was able to do to get there, and kind of just my process and what I was doing. So the very first thing I did was. I had to upgrade my def my arena defense. So I upgraded my brand to all 15 pieces. He was in mostly in plus 12 pieces. Um, Hakrin's basically the same. My the Asia is in there. She's still in plus 12 pieces, so she's not super strong, but she's decent. Um, and my light wing Zach is the one I spent a lot of time on. I built him up with very high agility, um, high attack, and high HP. Um, yeah, revive spell and block that spell. Um, and basically once I put that defense, I never got attacked again. So I'll show you my batter, battle history. You can see a lot of people trying to attack me. Um, in the beginning when I did my arena push, ah, damn, it pushed it out. Okay. It pushed it out. I wanted to show you, <laughs> look at all my defense wins. Oh man, that's funny. My defense win rate, uh, behind me is a little bit low, but that's because I usually use one person defenses just to give people free points. Um, but when I'm pushing, I put in my good defense. You can see I've only ever lost one battle on defense. Two battles. Wait. One, two, three. I lost three battles um, over the course of a week since I've pushed to Legend. And um, I just want to kind of show you what I did. So basically, I'll show you some of the runs. Uh, basically, what I do is I go into Arena. I fight someone I know I can beat. So for me, there was like four or five teams that I know I could just go in there. I could just press the auto button and I would 100% kill them. So what I did was I'd go in there, I'd find those people, and then I'd kill them. Um, this guy right here, Onion Bottom, he was one of my favorite people. Uh, he has since changed his defense, probably because I attacked him like five or six times while I was doing my push. Uh, I think he was maybe another time zone, so maybe he was sleeping, but he had the easiest defense on the entire board every single time. So I'd go in there and I would just just wreck him. He had the Godfrey, um, Godfrey, Godfrey defense and all you have to do is not bring brand and just bring three damage dealers and you can just smash him no problem so i i got him a lot uh, let me hit the refresh button let's see some other people i was a talking uh, i was killing um don't have some of the other guys but like this team right here so when you have a god fairy like sometimes it's really annoying but sometimes like if you bring brand obviously that's going to ruin everything but you can just do something like this so you can roll in there and God Fairy is basically a useless person because if you don't have any buffs on your team, he's literally not going to do anything. So you can literally just hit the auto button here. She's going to taunt. And then everyone's going to do some weird things and then blah, blah, blah. And then now you're going to get here and you should be able to basically one shot a lot of these people here see that almost one shot like two people then you come in here and you're like oh who do i want to who do i really want to finish off um probably go for brand because my other person is a vera and a vera is green obviously she's going to be weak so we're going to put some damage out there some stuff's going to happen you can see that he <laughs> um went after garrel and nothing happened. How do I still have my alt? Didn't I just alt? That's uh, interesting. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, so then you can just finish off and use your third DPS and you can take out some of the remaining players here. All right, he's going to full heal because he killed me. He's going to get 17 more turns, 18 more turns. And then I'm basically, I can just remove his immunity and stun him. And then I'm going to finish off Mr. Garrel over here because he's annoying. And then I'm literally just going to put it on auto here. And we're just going to go ham on on um, Light Zach here. He's going to get like 75 turns. He's going to resurrect people. He's going to do all sorts of stupid shit. But um, You know, he's going to do all this dumb stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then you're just going to kill him and then you're going to be done. So God Fairy is a wasted slot in a defense. 
totally useless. There is no point to ever have a God Fairy in your defense. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to maybe catch someone who's not paying attention, and they're going to bring someone like Brand in there. They're going to buff, and then they're going to lose all their ultimates. But other than that, I love seeing a God Fairy defense. So easy to beat. Um, so I would go for people who had a God Fairy defense, and I would go for two or three other people that I knew had pretty weak defenses, and I would just farm them. So when I had this timer, now I would just go into... <laughs> you have a five minute refresh tower. So all I did was I would come in here, I do two battles, which is exactly five minutes, and then I go back, I refresh, look for a person I can easily beat, and I just slowly moved up to legend over the course of basically two days. And the biggest thing that enabled that was having a good defense. You know, if you don't have a good defense, people are going to be constantly attacking you and you're going to lose so many points. When I did my push for um, whatever the legend, when I did my push for legend, I didn't I only had one person attack me in the entire two days I was doing my push and they lost. So having a good defense is basically one of the strongest things you can do to push up to legend. Now, obviously, all I wanted to do was get to this glory path so I could get this potion. Um, and that was basically my goal. You get that potion and then you also get to finish up season victor here. Um, oh, that's diamond one. They're, they don't have one for legend, but I got this for diamond one as well. That's another 800. Um, so that was just nice to have. And uh, yeah, now I'll show you the footage from my push. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video, guys.
right, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, you saw I ended up actually killing the same person like four times for my last push um, when I finally hit legend, but that was only because if you keep on attacking the same person and say they're sleeping and you keep winning, it's going to knock them so far down that you're not going to be able to attack them anymore. So there was basically like four or five people that I would constantly attack just because I knew it was easy to beat them and I had lost to some of the other players and they really only give you like maybe 10 people total that you're allowed to attack when you're that high in arena because they're only basically allowing you to attack people that are close to the top of the leaderboard here. So let me try to find that one. I've seen a lot of these guys. So yeah, so it's like maybe top 20. Yeah, I think that's about what it is. Seems, oh uh, no, I saw Yamoto in there. Um, he could have dropped further since the last time I was actually doing the push, but it's really not a lot of people. It's like maybe like 20 people that they'll give you to fight. And then if you knock some of them so low, they'll hop below that number and then you won't be able to attack them anymore. Like that LZD guy, I was uh, no longer able to attack him because I think I pushed him down too far. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, if you attack the same defense of, of multiple, multiple times, you're able to push them down to the point where you're no longer able to attack them. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, just try to find, you know, four or five teams that you know you can beat and just try to go in there and beat those guys and then just refresh, you know, when if you don't have those guys that you know you can beat. So, okay. That's it for the video. Just wanted to show you my process, what I did. You know, everyone's different. Everyone's, depending on how hard your bracket is, etc. It may be easy or hard. Uh, I will say that, Arena defense is key. Uh, having a lot of arena passes so you can fight a lot is good. And you really want to have some uh, well-geared units to be able to push to legend. But really cool getting that ascension potion. So, okay, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Sub to the channel if you're not already. And have a great day, everyone. Should be back from Mexico on Tuesday. So I'll be back to posting a, my normal amount of videos. Um, I have not been posting the last couple of days because I am in Mexico on vacation. So, all right, have a good one. See you guys.